Hi everyone, it's Brickwaffle, and today you're probably wondering why we're looking at the Minecraft launcher on my desktop instead of something actually in Minecraft. Today I'm going to try a little something different. I'm going to do a tutorial video on how to install Optifine, Light Loader, and Voxel Map for Minecraft 1.7.10. A few of the folks on my server have really enjoyed the minimap in the past, and it has changed a little bit. Um, we used to use Magic Launcher or MC Patcher to install some of these mods. You will want to download all of the things you're going to need first before we start this, and I'm going to have all of those links in the description below the video. The other thing to note is that the order in which we do these things is very important, especially for making sure that Optifine and Light Loader work together. Both of those launchers are going to modify your existing profile on the Minecraft launcher and create a new copy of it. And if you install Optifine first, you can then have Light Loader recognize that and chain onto it so that they don't conflict. Once you've got those two things installed, Voxel Map is really easy. You just drop it in the mods folder and you should be good to go. The thing you have to do before you start this is make sure that you've launched Minecraft 1.7.10 at least once and everything works successfully. So we're going to do that right now. We'll see that we get the Mojang splash screen and here we are at Minecraft. We could go in and start playing, but this is good enough for now, so we're going to go ahead and quit. And then we're going to go over to the interwebs, and we're going to start by downloading Optifine. So you can choose whichever version of 1.7.10 Optifine is best for you, light, ultra, or standard, depending on your computer's horsepower. I'm going to go ahead and download Optifine HD Ultra. The next thing we're going to want to do is go over to the Light Loader website, and we're going to click Download. And we're going to download the Minecraft 1.7.10 Windows version. If you're running something other than Windows, like Linux or Mac, you might want to download the jar file. Let's go ahead and click that link. It's going to ask us to save, and we're done. And then we're going to go over to the Voxel Map website. This link will also be in the description. It's a Mediafire link. So once we have everything downloaded, what we're going to want to do first is just drag the Optifine file into our Minecraft folder and launch that. And that's going to say, hey, I'm going to create a new profile based on Minecraft 1.7.10. Are you sure you want to do that? We're going to click Install and it's that quick. The next thing we want to do is run the Light Loader installer. You can run that right from your Downloads folder. And it's going to say Install Light Loader Recommended. It's going to tell you what the new profile is going to be called. And then we're going to hit OK. Whoops, and actually we're going to pick Optifine. This is an important step that I almost skipped. You do want to make sure that you extend from the Optifine version you have. So it's going to create a new profile, Light Loader 1.7.10 with Optifine for version 1.7.10 in the launcher. At this point, all we have to do is create a new folder over here called mods in our Minecraft directory and drag the voxel map mod into that folder and we're good to go. When we launch our Minecraft regular launcher we should see a new profile and this says Optifine but you can also see light loader with Optifine. We select that one, we click play and you'll see a little bit different loading screen while light loader boots up if we've done this right, when we click on this little chicken icon, you'll see one mod loaded when we hover over. If we click, we'll see the version of the mod that's loaded. And then if we go to multiplayer, we can join our Brickwaffle server. And we can see that it worked. We have the voxel map welcome message. If we hide Z to hide that message, we can now see that as we move around, we can see some Endermen out here in the distance, and those all of that shows up on our minimap. So it's really just that easy. The important thing is the order. I will have all of the links in the description below. And as always, I've been Brickwaffle. Thank you for watching.